All right, you guys, Kaiser Ness's backstory is finally beginning to be revealed. So in today's video, we are going to discuss everything that has been revealed so far and what this could mean for the future of their characters in the Blue Lock story. But before we do that, let's review chapter 242 so I can share all my thoughts, feelings, and opinions. So if you enjoy the content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Since I am really close to hitting my goal of 1k subscribers, so any support is very much appreciated. As always, we'll start the review by giving a summary of the chapter. So this is a reveal of Ness's backstory, so it begins with seeing Ness's parents, which we see are both scientists. While Ness's parents ground everything in reality, Ness as a small child had a very active imagination, believing that his wounds could be healed by magic and pretending that he was a wizard. But he would get scolded by his parents for saying anything that could be perceived as unrealistic. And this would include his siblings, who would also make fun of him for believing in magic. And one day, his siblings even broke his staff and kicked down his snowman. So Ness always felt pretty isolated in his home since no one accepted him because he was different from them. And we even see Ness crying, feeling like no one understands him and not understanding why science can't explain why he feels the way that he does. We then see a young Ness discover football for the first time. And to him, it's like magic. So he decides to become a football player which Ness's family is very much against, but Ness decides that he'll prove them wrong by going pro with the Germany team. And Ness does just that, since he plays so well that he gets an offer to try out for Bastard. During the tryout, we see Ness is struggling to keep up at a pro level and begins doubting himself, remembering his family's words, and even falls to the ground. But then he looks up and sees Kaiser for the first time, who asks him if he believes in the impossible. And Ness, who felt like his ego was beginning to be lost, saw Kaiser as his savior that could get it back. So that's just a quick summarization of chapter 242. And at this point, almost everyone has a pretty sad backstory in Blue Lock, which makes it even more funny that the actual main character of Blue Lock literally has the most tame and normal backstory we have seen so far, with his biggest sad moment being that he lost the match. But now talking about the actual chapter itself, while Ness isn't a fan favorite character, in fact, I had actually put him as the second most disliked character by fans when I did a ranking of the most hated Blue Lock characters. And I put Ness in second, not as a personal opinion, since truly there aren't any Blue Lock characters that I really dislike, just ones I like better than others. But ever since Ness's appearance in this arc, he has been a pretty polarizing character. But it will be interesting that we are finally going to get a look into Ness's past and hopefully find out why he's so loyal to Kaiser, even borderline obsessed with him. Since we have seen extreme loyalty in Blue Lock before, with Rayo and Nagi probably being the next best example of this, but even Rayo got upset with Nagi when he felt like he was abandoning him and not being a good friend. Meanwhile, we have seen Kaiser throw drinks in Ness's face, tell him to shut up, and overall just treat him not great a lot of the times. But Ness has never gotten upset at Kaiser directly or shown that his loyalty towards him is even wavering a bit. So while I can see that people who aren't fans of Ness or really dislike his character not enjoying the next few chapters that will be about him, I think it's important to see Ness's backstory so we can understand why he is so loyal to Kaiser even when he treats him so poorly. And we've already started to get the answer to this since we see that Ness came from a very strict family that doesn't appreciate anything that can't be 100% explained by science. So Ness, who loved all things magic, which also explains his nickname, The Magician, felt like he didn't belong in his family. And once he discovered football, he felt like he found something that was magical to him. But just as he was losing his ego for the sport, Kaiser came into the picture for him. So I think Kaiser is either someone that helps Ness get his ego back and eventually they became a duo because their skills match each other well. Or to Ness, Kaiser was someone that he felt like finally understood him for the very first time in his life after constantly feeling rejected by his family. But most likely it's a combination of both of these elements and other things that will be revealed in the next few chapters. We are also going to see what Kaiser was like in the past 
which could also farther explain why Kaiser is the way that he is. Since clearly Kaiser's ego isn't as strong as he likes to let on and he likes to crush his opponents before they have any potential to reaching his level. Since he doesn't want to be challenged for his position as a next generation striker. So we're finally going to get to learn more about his past and hopefully get a better understanding of his character as well. Since there has been a debate about what Kaiser's past could be, whether he grew up as a kid with a silver spoon in his mouth that always was the best in everything and he always got what he wanted, which is why he gets so upset about things not going his way and anyone trying to challenge his position. Or if he grew up in a really rough way where he had to work really hard to get to the point where he is now, which is why he wants to crush anyone that gets close to him since he knows that he worked too hard to get to where he is and he will crush anyone that he feels like could potentially get in his way. Of course, these are all just speculations that I've heard about Kaiser, but hopefully we will not just get Ness's backstory, but also get his. So let me know in the comments what you think Kaiser's backstory could be. But I think the big question of all of this is why now are we getting Kaiser and Ness's backstory? Post the Ubers match, there has been a lot of emphasis on just how upset Kaiser is about being outscored by Izuki. And in Blue Lock, when a character is getting a lot of emphasis like this, plus having their backstory revealed, it usually means that very soon we're going to see them go crazy, having previously seen this exact same thing with Hiyori in the Ubers match. So I guess that means Kaiser is about to do some crazy things in the PXG match. But I'm still trying to figure out how exactly Kaiser is going to fit into the PXG match. Since yes, it was hinted at there will be a three-way showdown between him, Rin, and Izuki. But the ultimate goal of this match is to see who's going to come out on top as the number one blue lock player in rankings which Kaiser isn't a part of since he has his own motivations. It also just seems like it's going to be a lot if both Kaiser and Rin are trying to crush Izuki, but for two different reasons. So it will be interesting to see where his character is going, since at this point, there are many different directions he can go in. But as for my overall thoughts on this chapter, it was interesting seeing Ness's backstory, since as someone who discusses a lot of the character aspect of the the blue lock story i always love seeing a character's backstory and ness's backstory kind of reminded me of bachida's since both characters were isolated due to their personalities and made to feel bad about who they were with bachida having this done to him by his peers at school while ness had his own family treat him that way and both of them through football were able to feel like they belonged somewhere but both eventually hit a low and while Bachida didn't have anyone there to help him when he hit his lowest by his imaginary monster, Kaiser showed up at the perfect time in Ness's life. And it almost makes me think, would Bachida have been just as extremely loyal to Izuki as Ness is to Kaiser if they met before Blue Lock? Since their codependency was addressed and they were able to break out of it, but maybe the key to why Ness is still loyal to Kaiser is that he was there for Ness when he was at his lowest. But Blue Lock has always had the running theme that codependency is not a good thing, and Kaiser has shown that he could be independent of Ness, but Ness is still struggling to find this, always wanting to be by Kaiser's side and getting extremely angry at the thought of Kaiser giving more attention to someone else. So I'm also interested to see what Ness's story will be in the PXG match since he is also getting quite a bit of attention right now in the story and him and Kaiser could end up on two very different paths by the end of this arc with one thriving and the other completely crashing and burning. But I'll have to see more of their backstory to determine where I think their paths could be going. Anyways, that's the end of my review video. Just a bit of a shorter chapter review to talk a bit in depth about Kaiser and Ness since they are two characters I haven't talked too much about on my channel, but them being in the spotlight possibly for the next few chapters, I thought it'd be nice to break down where I see their characters right now. So let me know your thoughts about this chapter. Are you excited to see more of their backstory? And where do you think their characters are going to end up by the end of this arc? Please like, comment, and subscribe. Push the post notification button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!